The film opens with a gripping scene of Sam Blake, a skilled government intelligence officer, teaching his daughter Sarah how to shoot. As they bond over their shared passion for marksmanship, little do they know that their peaceful family time will soon be shattered. After their training session, Sam takes Sarah to his ex-wife's house, revealing that he has been divorced for some time and that his daughter's custody is no longer in his hands. Meanwhile, in a different part of town, Bill Weybridge, the head of Spanish intelligence, and his team are hot on the trail of a notorious drug dealer. Sam is part of the field team and is tasked with providing sniper cover. But when the target becomes aware of their surveillance and attempts to flee, Bill orders Sam to take him out immediately. Despite his reservations, Sam knows that disobeying a superior's orders is not an option, and he reluctantly pulls the trigger. The fallout from the previous mission continues to reverberate months later. Bill, the head of Spanish intelligence, is still seething with anger and disbelief at being fired from his job along with his former colleague, Sam. Despite his protests, the decision of the Security Council stands. Fast forward six months, and we find Sam living a listless existence, barely getting out of bed and seemingly lost without a job or purpose. His girlfriend Jenna tries to motivate him to get his life back on track, but to no avail. Then, out of nowhere, Sam receives a call from a mysterious stranger named Jericho. Before he could even ask who Jericho is, a gunshot rings out, and Sam rushes to the window to see what has happened. To his horror, he discovers that Jenna has been shot and killed outside their apartment. As Sam struggles to come to terms with Jenna's death, Jericho suddenly calls him back, taunting him about the shooting and threatening to continue if Sam doesn't do as he says. Jericho reveals that he has six enemies who he wants Sam to eliminate, or he will continue to kill innocent people. Faced with no other choice, Sam reluctantly agrees to carry out Jericho's orders. He heads downstairs and finds a car waiting for him, loaded with weapons and gear. As he prepares to set off on his mission, Jericho contacts him again, this time via video call, and reveals that he has taken Sarah hostage. Desperate to protect his daughter, Sam pleads with Jericho to send him the names of the six targets. With no other options left, he sets out on his deadly mission, hoping that by completing it, he will be able to save Sarah's life. Sam had finally reached the location of his first target assigned by Jericho. His task was to plant an explosive under the target's car and detonate it when the target was inside. Sam carried out the mission successfully, and the car was blown up. However, the police and detectives soon arrived at the scene to investigate the bombing and look for clues about the perpetrators. Meanwhile, we see a prostitute named Lexi, who was with her client. After the man left to clean up, Lexi quickly sees the opportunity to search through his computer. Her true intention was to steal data files from the client. Once she found the files, Lexi contacted the person who had hired her for the job, and it turned out to be Jericho. She informed him that she had acquired the requested data and Jericho instructed her to send it immediately from an internet cafe. As soon as Lexi arrived at the internet cafe, she quickly sent the data file to Jericho's email address. However, Jericho wasn't done with her yet. He demanded that Lexi carry out another mission and threatened to harm her uncle if she refused. It turned out that Jericho had taken Uncle Lexi hostage to ensure that Lexi followed his orders without question. Meanwhile, Sam had arrived at the location of his next target. Jericho had instructed him to eliminate the target using a sniper rifle. Sam successfully carried out the mission, but to his surprise, there were two innocent civilians nearby who had witnessed the act. Initially, Sam intended to eliminate the witnesses, but at the last moment, he chose to flee the scene instead. Shortly after, the police arrived at the scene and questioned the two witnesses who had seen Sam. They provided valuable information to the police, including the license plate of the black SUV used by the shooter and a description of Sam's face. Meanwhile, Sam had made his way to the top of a building to carry out his next mission. He was tasked by Jericho to eliminate a third target. Once he arrived, Sam began to search for the target but had trouble locating them. Eventually, he discovered that the target was still asleep despite it being midday. As soon as the target woke up, Sam opened fire and carried out the hit. Although Sam successfully completed his mission by eliminating the third target, Jericho was far from pleased. He had expected Sam to finish the hit 13 minutes earlier, and in a sadistic act of warning, Jericho broadcasted a live video of him slaughtering innocent people in a cafe. Sam was horrified by the event, and it shattered his expectations of Jericho. As Sam was rushing back to his car, he encountered two thugs attempting to extort him. Without thinking, he fought back and took them down. Meanwhile, the police investigating the shooter's identity had discovered a clue, which led them to conclude that the shooter was a former intelligence officer who had been fired. Unbeknownst to Sam, Jericho had set a trap for him. Lexi met with Jericho in an underground room, where Jericho instructed her to bring a bag to Sam. Jericho warned Lexi not to make any mistakes, as he would not hesitate to harm her uncle if she did. At the same time, Sam was at a bar, waiting to take out his fourth target. When the target entered the restroom, Sam followed him and carried out the hit. As Sam finished off his fourth target and left the bathroom, he suddenly found himself facing a group of angry friends seeking revenge for their fallen comrade. Quick to react, Sam brandished his gun and managed to escape unscathed. 
Meanwhile, at the police station, Chief Detective Russell Kincaid proudly presented his latest catch. Bill, the ex-colleague fired alongside Sam. Russell was convinced that Sam had turned into a terrorist and needed to be apprehended immediately. But Detective Hannah, a smart and observant woman, disagreed. She argued that Sam was likely acting under duress and not of his own free will. After all, for years, Sam had been a model citizen and loyal follower of the state. As Sam geared up to take out his fifth target under Jericho's orders, he found himself being chased by the police. In a desperate attempt to escape, he hid in a nearby flower house but was soon caught. Forced to take drastic measures, Sam had no choice but to paralyze two policemen and flee. The police were hot on his trail and even used a helicopter in their pursuit. It seemed like Sam's luck had run out, but he managed to evade them and was rescued by Lexi as per Jericho's instructions. As they drove away, Lexi and Sam shared stories of their families, who were being held hostage by Jericho. Together, they planned their next move and decided to approach Sam's fifth target, who was watching news coverage of Sam's fugitive status. When they arrived, Sam pointed his gun and demanded to know why someone would want to kill him. The man claimed to be a mere taxi driver and tried to fight back, but Sam quickly neutralized the threat. As Sam got back into the car, he immediately contacted Jericho to inquire about their final target. Jericho's shocking response left Sam reeling. He was the last target, and the bag that Lexi had been carrying was actually a bomb. Jericho demanded that Sam end his own life in the middle of a crowded demonstration, or else Sarah, Sam's loved one, would be killed. Faced with this impossible decision, Sam was left with no choice but to refuse Jericho's demands. He confided in Lexi, telling her that he couldn't go through with it and was now determined to track down Jericho. Sam asked Lexi if she had any idea where Jericho might be, and to his relief, she revealed that she had once been to an underground room where Jericho had been spotted before. Determined to put an end to Jericho's evil plans, Sam and Lexi made their way to the underground room where Jericho was last seen. However, as they searched the basement, they realized that Jericho was nowhere to be found. Meanwhile, the security council, who had previously fired Sam and Bill, grew increasingly desperate to capture Sam. They hired a hitman to track him down and bring him to justice. Just as Sam and Lexi were beginning to lose hope, Jericho made contact with them. He had discovered their plan and ruthlessly murdered Lexi's uncle for divulging the location of his headquarters. To make matters worse, Jericho threatened to kill Sarah if Sam didn't comply with his demands before 3 p.m. As Sam was driving with Lexi, they discussed their plan to find Jericho's whereabouts. Lexi suggested that they track a man she had previously massaged, who happened to be a hacker. Sam forced the man to locate Jericho's cell phone IP address, which revealed that the data file Lexi had stolen earlier was related to the latest weapon manufacturing. Meanwhile, Hannah attempted to stop the demonstration as she feared it could be a terrorist target. Back at Jericho's hideout, he threatened to kill Sarah unless Sam detonated the bomb in the middle of the demonstration. However, at the designated time, Sam appeared and pointed his gun at Jericho. As Jericho removed his headgear, Sam was shocked to see that it was actually Bill. Bill confessed that he had become a terrorist due to his resentment towards the government, who he believed had abandoned him. Sam ordered Sarah to leave, and Bill was left to face the consequences of his actions. In a sudden turn of events, Sam found himself in a firefight with Bill, who tried to shoot him. Sam managed to take Bill down before approaching Lexi and his daughter to leave the place. But Sam was suddenly shot by a hitman hired by the military security council. In the ambulance, Sam found out that the shot was just meant to make him unconscious because the council knew that he was not a terrorist. After regaining consciousness, Sam discovered that the security council had a different plan for him. They wanted to make him a secret military intelligence agent tasked with eliminating terrorists in the country. The gunshot was just a ploy to fake Sam's death and keep his new identity a secret. The moral lesson that we can learn from this film is to trust your instincts and do what's right, even if it goes against what others expect. Blindly following orders can lead to catastrophic consequences, so it's important to make moral choices based on your own values.